Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day so far. In today's video, I'm really excited because it's a continuation of our DIY mirrored furniture series. I'm so proud of how this DIY turned out, so if you're interested in how to make this absolutely gorgeous piece, then please keep on watching. I wanted to start off and share with you guys my favorite shopping app, which is called ShopTagger. I've saved so much money and scored many deals with this amazing mobile and web app. All you have to do to download this app is sign up with your email address, then download the button to your web browser, and that's it. From here, you can go to your favorite stores. They have so many to choose from, and of course, I had to go to Z Gallery because it's also one of my favorite stores. I've been wanting many things from this site, but of course I don't want to pay full price, so when I see what I want, I press the shop tagger button to my right and it instantly saves to my shop tagger cart. Another way to save an item to your cart is by clicking the button on your web browser and you can choose what percentage you want to be notified when it goes on sale or comes back in stock. With shop tagger in my life now, I can save what I want and put the items into different categories to help me stay organized with my shopping. I can make any list, for example, gifts, beauty, home decor, or fashion. Before I knew of ShopTagger, I would check the items I wanted on the daily to see if they were on sale and they never were so it was a waste of time. I love shopping smart and I really like how they also include coupons ready to be used. I will leave the link to download ShopTagger in my description box. I'm telling you guys, you will love it just as much as I do. Thank you so much ShopTagger for sponsoring this video. Now let's go ahead and get started with this mirrored furniture DIY. The inspiration behind this mirrored furniture piece comes from Z Gallery. The one I wanted is currently $1,699 and in total to make this 6 drawer chest was $350. I really love bringing you guys affordable high-end DIYs so if you love these videos as well please let me know in the comments and if this video gets to 5,000 likes we'll make another mirrored furniture piece next week. So please share this video with your friends and family and make sure you're subscribed. I will leave the link in my description box of everything you will need to make this smeared chest. My husband told me he could make this for me and that's just what he did. You can build this yourself or with your family and friends. I know you'll have much fun in the process. The most time consuming part of this DIY was building the IKEA piece. There were so many pieces and parts to put together, however we finished it within a couple of hours. The next step is spray painting. We use the Krylon Metallic Silver Spray Paint from Lowe's. All you have to do is spray paint the borders and edges of the chest because the mirrors will cover the wood. After that was painted, we let it dry for 5 hours and then we brought it inside to add the mirrors. We got our mirrors cut from Lowe's. The employee told us that every Lowe's has a mirror and glass cutting section in their store so they'll cut it for you for free as long as you purchase their mirror or glass. I will leave the mirror sizes we bought and the cut measurements we used in the description box. Now this is the fun part that I've been waiting for to really see our vision come to life. My husband is adding a generous amount of Gorilla Construction adhesive glue to the back of the mirrors.
I picked these crystal knobs up from Home Goods. They always carry beautiful and unique ones, so make sure you check your stores. Each pack was $12.99, which is an amazing deal compared to other stores that sell them for $6 each, similar style. We are going to be gluing the knobs on the mirror drawers using E6000 glue, so here my husband drew a dot on 4.5 inches going down and 5 inches going across. These thin wood sticks are from Lowe's and we bought these because we didn't want the edges of the mirror to be dangerous for our little one or ourselves. We purchased this tool to cut the wood but it was so easy to cut my husband ended up using the regular scissors. I spray painted them and let it dry for a couple of hours and when they were completely dry it was time to cut and glue them around the mirror. We used E6000 to glue the trim around the mirrors. We used this glue because it was less noticeable compared to a white construction adhesive plus this glue is very strong it would hold up just as well. This furniture piece has to be secured to the wall to avoid tipping over so make sure you follow the directions it comes with to attach it to the wall, it's very very important. I'm so excited to put it all together. I had my husband sit this one out. So here I'm just putting the drawers in. I couldn't wait to see it all come together. I just wanted to do the little finishing touch and then I'm gonna be styling it and you'll see how I styled it. I absolutely love how this mirrored chest turned out you guys. It's our new TV console and it turned out perfect for the space. The best part is that you can place this just about anywhere like your bedroom, dining room, or living room like I have it. If this video gets to 5,000 likes, we'll make sure to be doing a mirrored furniture piece next week. Thank you so much to everyone who has shown so much love and support to all of the projects I've done and especially with my husband. We really enjoy making these DIYs and showing you how easy it is to create a showstopper without breaking the bank. Let me know what you want to see next and we will try to make it happen if we receive many requests for the same thing. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video with everyone you know that would love this in their home. Thank you so much for being here and make sure to check out ShopTagger, the link is in my description box. I'll talk to you all very soon in my next video, take care.